Hey everyone, today on the bench I'm going to tie you up a Purple Peril. This is one of our all-time favorite steelhead flies. It's uh, probably on the short list of many steelhead anglers over the years. It's uh, produced very, very well. It's a simple fly to tie. It's a great coloration and uh, we'll go over the materials. We need to tie the fly. Uh, for the hook I'm going to be using uh, size, this is a size 1 low water hook from uh, Partridge. And uh, for the tail, the collar, I'm going to be using some of this uh, Chinese saddle, very webby uh, saddle in purple. The body, we'll be using some purple uh, seal fur. The rib is going to be some size 10 mylar tinsel. And what I've used on my wings is the white tip turkey tail. A nice model coloration. It's a nice uh, material to work with. So we'll get our materials ready. We got the. Um, I'm going to use some six aught black uni thread to tie with, and that's it. It's a nice simple fly. I know we um, tend to get all excited about some of these new materials coming out, and and there is some nice flies tied with some new synthetics. I'm not. I'm going to criticize any of that, but sometimes simple is good. And here's a fly that really made a name for itself over the years. Tied many different ways, too. Okay, we're going to uh, come to the t corner here. We'll get rid of some of the real webby hackle off the bottom of this. Get the real fluff off. We want the uh, nice soft fibers. I'm going to make a tail out of that. Tie in two clumps of that off the bottom. It's almost like a marabou really is what it is. I'll breathe a little bit. And just wrap the butts forward. And I'll get some of my Mylar tinsel, tie it gold side up at an angle, 45 degree angle. Catch it back here. It's out of my way. Now I would use a dubbing loop here folks if you don't have a, a spinning uh, vise like I have here. Also another thing, you get this dubbing a lot of times, it's pretty chunky, it's not blended all that well. So I'll just drop that in a coffee bean grinder and then blind blends it all up. It makes it so much easier to work with. Not just seal for a lot of your other dubbings you'll buy in, in, in packages too. It's, it could use a little more mixing and and just have a coffee bean grinder. It's very cheap little fix to have on your desk. You, you use a lot, you always know, blend different colors Throw a little synthetics in there if you want to brighten it up. Here I just like this purple. Just when you're feeling fishing steelhead, you don't have a purple with you. you. Might be in for a tough day. And I used to do this, the um, purple pearls with a hackled body and a marabou wing. Kind of this more of a low water version. Gonna leave the seal fur to bug it out a little bit here. A little picker. And nothing better than seal fur in the water. Just can't duplicate it. If you can't get seal where you're at, if you're in the U.S. or something, you can use your substitutes for that. Okay, then all I'm going to use is the balance of the feather I just had. It's a real nice webby hackle. Tie that in the collar. And I'm just going to fold it back. And every turn, I'm just going to keep folding it ahead of itself. Nice soft collar. Just keep wrapping basically over top of it, same spot. Get right up right there. And then can come over the back here and tie it off. And then just pull it back so it gets some nice breathability. 
comes almost to the rear anyway. You can tie this fly in different sizes. You can go down to half half this big too. Size is really important. Okay, and then I'll have two slips of my white uh, tip turkey quill. And I just put them back to back. So I have the modeled coloration on both sides. Sometimes those tips aren't quite bang on either. They're not quite, it's not as good a, as the other center turkey quills. So you can match them up that way with cheat, cheat a little bit. Match them up with your scissors. Okay, when I come here I want to come right to both. I don't want to come to the tail, I want to come to the end of the body with it. I like a little short tail. I'm pinching it on the side. I'm taking a soft loop. I'm going to put the thread in between my fingers and my thumb, coming underneath, and then pull up. And then that should set the wing on top of the shank. If you're not happy with it, do it again. Pull up. Good turns. There, that's got a good set on that one. Takes a little practice if you haven't set wings before, but it's something you'd really want to get into or learn. If you're going to be tying flies, there's so many really good patterns, old patterns that have got wings, turkey or other quills. I'm going to learn how to set them wings. And we'll uh, get a nice little head here. Checking everything kind of riding away. If it, if it turns out it's not perfect, that's okay. It'll, it'll track in behind your, your line pretty good. The thing you want to do is, is have these flies that they're tracking behind your leader. Your fly line coming across the current. Really the critical thing about steelheading. Sometimes we get these flies too long, too many joints in them, and they kind of swim. They, they, the back end almost beats the front end downstream, and they don't get a good side view of the fly coming at them. They want, you want them to see the complete side silhouette. In my opinion, that's pretty critical. So there it is. That's my version of the Purple Peril. And... Uh, Wish you all the best with this one. This, this will darn sure get you into some really nice uh, steelhead and uh, that season will be among us pretty soon. So all the best. We thank you for watching Sport Fishing on the Fly. We'll catch you again real soon.